Well, this is a very common question. How do we store and organize our kids' clothes so that we don't forget that we have them, they actually wear them before they grow out of them, and most importantly, so that we have a better idea of how much and what they actually need. Let's talk about that coming up next. Well, hi, I'm Dawn from The Minimal Mom. If we haven't met before, I am married to Tom and we have four kids ages four through nine. And we just enjoy sharing tips and tricks about how your family can simplify your house quickly because we've found that as we've really pared down the number of material items and possessions that we have in our house, it runs a whole lot more smoothly. And I've definitely noticed this in the area of kids clothing because it seems to multiply, it seems to get everywhere around the house, and it's a big pain to organize and keep track of. So today, let's talk about how we can organize our kids' clothes so that it's very easy to keep track of, and we don't find ourselves at the end of each season finding things in their closet, in their dressers, that they never wore before they outgrew it because that has happened to all of us as parents. And so let's go through a couple steps to how we can be more organized with our kids' clothes. So the first thing is to understand how much clothing our kids actually need. One of my very first videos, I was sitting right here on the couch and I talked about how you can simplify your children's wardrobe very quickly. So I will link to that video down below. It's still very much the method that I use and recommend to simplify their wardrobe because most of us, the problem isn't organization, the problem is having way too much inventory to manage. And I know I, I'm like you where I used to feel in the past that, oh, I just wasn't organized and that's why I was finding these clothes at the end of the season that the kids didn't wear and they had outgrown. And I kept thinking to myself, if I could just find the right organization system, then this won't keep happening year after year, season after season. But now what I understand since we've simplified our kids' clothes is that it wasn't an organization problem, it was an inventory problem. And I just thought our kids needed way more clothing than they actually did. So again, in that video, I talked about how for all of our kids, until they got a little bit older and started being able to take care of their clothes on their own, I would find five tops and five bottoms and then maybe a, a couple sweatshirts or long sleeve shirts for layering. But for every season, those were my magic numbers for what I felt that they actually needed. And so the first step in being able to really stay on top of your kids' clothing, I think, is to reduce the inventory. And what I like about that method that I talked about in that video is we take the extra clothing and we stick it in a storage container and then we put it in storage. So as you're test driving it, then if you feel like, oh, you know what, we could use another pair of pants or another pair of shorts or an extra sweatshirt, then you can just go back to that bin and pull it out. But this gives you the opportunity to experience what it feels like for your kids to have a highly simplified wardrobe. Again, you might think five and five is way too little and too extreme, but pick numbers that work for you. Even if you wanted to try 10 and 10, I'm guessing your kids have way more than that right now. And so I really think that as you start to be more aware of how much clothing your kids actually need, we start to reduce the amount of clothes that we're trying to store. I think you're gonna find that that actually makes the biggest difference. Because for me now, I mean, we have four kids, and so it was a lot to stay on top of managing the hand-me-downs and the stuff I would grab at garage sales or on clearance at the store for just in case or for them to grow into. It was a lot to manage because I thought they needed a lot of clothes, but as we've simplified it, I can very easily stay on top of it. In fact, in that video, I talked about how both of our boys, their wardrobes fit in plastic bins this size, and they still do. This is still what we use for their current clothes that they're wearing. And so I like this because if it starts to get too full, especially like after Christmas or their birthday, or if we've stopped at a garage sale, if it starts to get too full, then I know to go through it and pull out the things, usually at the bottom, that they aren't wearing anymore, and we just part ways with it then, so hopefully somebody else can make use of it. So that's the first step, is to reduce the amount of clothes that you're storing. And then the second step, because we do have clothes that we do store for them to grow into, so I just have a Rubbermaid tote for each of the kids for stuff for them to grow into. And then this also works the same way where this is only how much we'll store. So for like my oldest son, his is pretty full because I have a cousin who is so generous with handing down clothes from her boys, but usually they're still two sizes too big for our oldest, but they're good quality clothes so I wanna hang on to them. And then if I find anything at a garage sale or if we get extra stuff throughout the year, like for Christmas or a birthday, I'll throw it in here because I still wanna keep his inventory low that we keep around the house 
just because it keeps the house cleaner, it keeps the laundry simpler, and I really like how our house functions with all the kids having smaller wardrobes. I do like having uh, just one bin per child because again, it just helps to manage the inventory. I, I never let it get over full. So if it's starting to get full, then I know there's more clothes in there than they could possibly ever wear. And so that's kind of my cue, like, okay, that child does not need more clothes, or if we get some in, I need to go through and pull some other stuff out to donate. Overall, I think it's important for it to be easy to access. So I keep these bins right in their bedroom closet so that if we do need to pull something out, then it's easier to do that than to run to the store and buy something. <laughs> so I do like to have them kind of easy access right in, the, in their bedroom if possible. So another question that then generally comes up is if you're not sure if you're done having kids yet, then should you store all of the baby clothes for potentially having another baby? And I think that's a great question because when we were having kids, I just stored everything, not knowing if we'd have a boy or a girl next or what season they would be and what they would wear. But what inevitably I found from child to child was there was actually very few things that I would pull out of that storage because people would give us gifts or we would happen across a garage sale or we just, I don't know, especially baby clothes, we just always had new stuff coming in. So I really only used a small percentage of the stuff that I stored. And so my recommendation to you, especially if you're not sure if you're gonna have more kids or not, is to only store the very high quality stuff that would be expensive to replace or your absolute favorites. But the other thing I found was I couldn't believe how quickly their clothing went out of style. And I don't know, when you have babies, it's kind of fun to have them in current pieces. And so it just seemed like I always tended to put them in the things, the newer things they had gotten for gifts or more recent hand-me-downs. So that's why I don't really recommend storing that much for babies because I just, at least in my experience, so much of it never got used again. Same with even now when we pass down stuff from our older daughter to our younger daughter, or older son to younger son. I only keep the really good stuff and the favorite pieces because so much of it seems to never get worn again. And I would rather pass it on to a thrift store, a secondhand store, or even to cousins now when it's still fairly in style than storing it for a few years, waiting to see if they're gonna wear it or not, and then passing it on. But really what I like most about this and by highly reducing the amount of clothes in general that we keep is that it just, it's so much less to manage and I don't have that guilt anymore of like, oh, they never wore this. Oh, it still has the tags on it. Like trying to see like, would they still fit into this so we could at least take a picture to send it to the person who gave it to them. It just, it caused so much guilt having all of these clothes that they never wear or only wore one time. It really felt wasteful to me. But the other good thing about this is I really feel like we're saving a lot of money now because in the past, when I'd be at garage sales or secondhand stores, you know, I'd find things on clearance at stores and I'd grab it. Well, we don't need it now, but we will in the future, only then to miss out on the chance for them to wear it a lot of times. But also it's just, again, having so much less inventory in our house to manage. It really just helps my peace of mind not having to worry about all that stuff I was storing in the past. And so that is what works for us. I would love to know your favorite tips for storing kids' clothes so that they don't get wasted or forgotten about. So please leave those down below or any other advice you have around kids' clothing. I will, I'll link to both those videos, uh, Adeline School Shopping, as well as the trick to simplify your kids' wardrobe really quickly. But literally, you could do it in 20 minutes today. So I hope that helps too. And thank you so much for watching. A thumbs up is the best compliment that you can give us. I hope you subscribe if you haven't already so we can spend more time together. And I look forward to visiting with you again really soon. Who has the most clothes of anyone? Me! Maggie. <laughs> I think Maggie does. Because she gets all of Adeline's and then she likes to get them for gifts. I have the most clothes. You like clothes a lot, don't you? You like picking out your outfits? Clothes. I know, some spiky hair going on. <laughs> I have